space engineer. This is Captain Rick Havoc with the Terran Public Navy, and I hope you're all having a wonderful day. I am coming to you today from the Research and Development Station of the Terran Republic Shipyard to bring you a combat test and review of the ship in front of us. This is the LUS Yami class light cruiser by Leaps. That's L I E P S. I'm assuming that's how it's pronounced. And it's actually it's it's a it's a pretty nice ship. He's put plenty of uh, weapons on it. Uh, Gatling turrets, uh, artillery turrets, and uh, custom auto cannon turrets. And the he put some he put some Gatling turrets up here for point defense, but he didn't put them far enough forward. And he didn't use he used vanilla Gatling turrets, which are actually, to be frank, not the best point defense turrets you can find in the workshop. And I put the I put those on this ship on the ship here, and they are uh, the uh, from from the Atlas point defense turrets from the uh, Eric's mod pack. Eric's Eric's anyway, and they are best Gatling turrets, the best point defense turrets I've ever I've found on the, in the workshop in the game. And and I stuck it in, stuck the nuke launcher up here in the nose to enable me to finish off the adversary more quickly. And this ship has rail guns tucked in along, tucked in here along the sides. Here's one. And there's you know there's one on the other side, and as well way back here, actually. Yeah, that, I think it's back. Hmm. Where is that? I know there is another pair of rail guns on this ship. Not sure. Not sure. Ah, right here, I think. If not here, there's been somewhere along here. Yeah, there. I see it. And all right, I think I've showed you showed you the outside well enough. It's got plenty of uh, thrusters on it for. Uh, no, give it good acceleration and deceleration, and uh, so let me take you inside and show you the inside of the ship. There's a lot to show you on the inside. Nice airlock there. With no, another one over there on the other side of the ship. And I guess I'll show you up front here first. Uh, all the crew habitation area is pressurized in the ship, but there are unpressurized sections too. And up here is one of them. This is 
more or less your forward engineering space. Auxiliary engineering, you got a couple of uh, small warfare reactors and a couple of, uh, you know, hydrogen engines, power. And up here you got, you can get access to your railgun, to, to, to these two railguns that are up here in the front. Let's see. Not all you have access to here. There it is. Wait, waiting to hear the door close. Actually, don't. Not sure I understand why this particular space is, is unpressurized. Seems like this could be pressurized or an air vent in it. Anyway. That's uh, a nice big air vent, just repressurizes its space very quickly. And now, before we go upstairs, let's see. Oh, let's see. Now, these are just. These are just. Ar uh, yeah. Armory. Armory's on either side here. This, this ship is. Uh, it's well decorated and. I think it, I think it looks pretty good too. I mean, I'm not big on aesthetics. But this ship is uh, aesthetically pleasing, shall we say? And here we have what we have here is our access to the hangar bay. In the hangar bay. A hangar bay is another un unpressurized space. And we have a we have a fighter in here. Only one. We only have one fighter, but we've got a fighter. But also we got some shelves and other things make this look more like a real spaceship. Anyway, now we can uh, go on up here and look at the rest of the ship. And we got a pressurized corridor over the hangar bay with windows that you can look down into the hangar bay through. Lots of windows on the ship. these doors we have crew quarters uh, barrack eight, eight, eight bunks on either side so you got room for uh, 
16 crewmen. You know, just ordinary crewmen. And this, we got a complete space in the ship set up for their comfort and safe, comfort and convenience and health on three decks here. And we go down to this deck here. And, uh, let's see. We'll be going down here later because this leads to CIC. But for right now, what we got over here on this side is... the crew shower room. We got three showers in here for the crew. And over here on the other side... We have the crew's head. And you got some and we got toilets in here. Just just a pair of toilets. But complete sanitary facilities for the crew. And when we if we go further down here. What we find is on the starboard side we got the crew's recreation room. And we got uh, you know tables and uh, more windows to see out, look out look out of the ship. And we got uh, planners and sofas and uh, book combination uh, bookshelf and coffee bar actually called inset bookshelf but it's more than just a bookshelf anyway and uh, you know and over here on the other side of these of this area you go over here and what you find here over here besides this small uh you know uh com conversation table for you know people you know for say three or four people want to just have a quiet conversation and over here we got our entertainment center and uh a couch over here to sit in and, and watch the entertainment center Okay. So this is the, this is the rec room for the crew, cruise rec room. And over here we have the ship's mess. We have you know seating over here for the for the crew. Of course we don't have we don't have as many seats in here as we have bunks in the uh, in the in the quarters area. So uh, the crew has to eat shifts. Which is normal for a for a, for a ship, and you got your uh, you know your galley stove here, and you know your whole whole galley area here, a bar and stove, and what what's really essential, of course, is the dispenser, because this is this is where you, where you actually get your food and drink out of. But you got, you know, it's, it's a complete little, it's a complete alley here. Inset kitchen. And this, you know. Like I said, the ship is, this is a nice ship. Well decorated, well appointed, heavily armed. And uh, and in here we have the ship's medical facility. The uh, you know our uh, medical room and uh, insect cryopod, cryopod, cryo cryo room in here. Well, cryopod. So. Like I said, the ship's got 
everything everything necessary for the health, comfort, and uh, and convenience of the crew. show you CIC now. Oh, that's right, There's because there's more behind CIC to show you as well. That's where actually main engineering is. And so, here we have CIC. combat control station here control seat and we got some uh, control stations here for control for if we want to have crewmen actually controlling the custom turrets and we got automatons program blocks in the corners I guess he guess he figured there was enough room in here for uh, for the automatons blocks needed for the ship because uh, he didn't uh, he didn't didn't make a server room, which is what he did with his with his Corvette. And okay, so and down the stairs and through here we have main engineering with our main reactor. here and we also got more hydrogen engines we got two on either side so uh, one way or another as long as you never run out of if, as long as you never run out of both hydrogen and uranium you'll always have power in this ship you just don't ever want to run out of both. And so... Up. A little too far up. Alright, now we got... Uh, and we got another unpressurized area back here. There, see, you gotta wait for the light to turn green before we can open the door, and there is no air. Air is all rushing out. And so, what we have back here is our jump drives and uh, batteries and, you know, engineering. Another engineering section here. Like I said, you guy, guy, you put plenty of decorations in this ship. You know, giving you. No, oh. I don't know. I don't know what that is down there. I know the ship has production. Oh yeah, these are the missiles. This is the missile bay. This ship has. This ship can fire uh, and make missiles. Got the welders here to make the missiles. And uh, hatches in the in the you know in in the uh, in the, on the upper surface of the ship to uh, launch them out of. Not exactly sure. Ah, uh, yeah, you know, I think I I think the ship probably needs more scripts than it has. For the missiles, it doesn't seem to have any uh, 
scripts for these missiles. So, um, oh yeah, it's back. Okay, yeah, and I don't think there's a whole lot more to see back here. We got a survival kit here. You need need a quick recharge. You got a survival kit here. And you got, uh, you know, access down here to do repairs on your various systems, uh, oxygen tanks, and anyway. You see, you got windows back here. Although, you know, you're, you're not, you know, it's, then you can see we got access back here to thrusters and fuel tanks to do uh, repairs on these. Yep. And more. More shelves with parts on them and tubing and just, you know. back out all right so and that's the engineering this is the you know en ships engineering spaces and missile launch missile launch So, onwards. Got here, got a aquarium for the crew to look at. Look, watch the watch the fishies swim around. And so now, further up and back here, we have our. Uh, Officers' quarters, commander and commander and XO's quarters. Each each one, there's another one exactly like this on the other side. It's uh, you know private uh, sanitary facilities, a desk and chair, uh, arms rack weapon rack and even each you know private inset entertainment center and uh, couch to, to watch it from so like I said this you know these two identical quarters that are single occupant and you know have things that the crew quarters don't have in them. Clearly, the uh, the uh, the quarters for the senior officers of the ship. 
And on up here we have our uh, upper control station where you don't where you control the ship when you're not taken into combat. Or in my case, I'll be using this uh, this control seat when it comes time to crash the ship on the planet. But we can use it now to show you uh, at least some of the features of the ship. And let's see. I don't have the same thing set up on this toolbar as I have in the CIC. So just bear with me. And we got... Uh, Actually, I think we do have pretty much, nah, not all, but we have, uh, you know, we can activate weapons uh, on and off here, at least some of them. We got a camera, and we got the main thing I needed here was the thrust override control for when I crash a ship. And uh, this is uh, for the connectors and welders for the missiles and here we have our controls for jump drives and the ship's projector and our uh, various uh, you know activation deactivation controls for various things, batteries, reactors, the hydrogen engines, hydrogen tanks, stockpile them, uh, got our uh, activation for, for uh, hydrogen ion thrusters, our uh, gyros and our H2, H2O2 generators on this one. Let's see. And these are for the uh, connectors on the sides let's see I think that's about it for that I did set up oh that's right I didn't when I put the ship I didn't anyway we got the controls for the axial weapons here the rail guns and the nuke launcher and uh, the you know gyro controls to uh, you know, they increase and decrease the gyro power so we can aim better. And uh, got the uh, artillery turrets and auto cannon turrets uh, set with, uh, you know, subsystem set for offense. And so. Now let me show you, I'll show you the internals here. We got you know, all these uh, groups for you know, making it easier to set up your tool your toolbars. At least I find I find it so far easier setting up your you know stuff on your toolbars when you group your missiles you know group your weapons group your hydrogen tanks and all that stuff and we, we have an assembler let's see and a assembler and a refinery so we have production on the ship seeing here that. so when we have look at all these artillery turrets
20 artillery turrets on this ship. That is a heck of a lot of firepower for a light cruiser. I mean, the Mama class doesn't have this many uh, artillery turrets. But the Mama class is a smaller ship as well. And we got, you know, gravity, and of course, lots of gyroscopes. ship is very maneuverable. Of course, it's a light cruiser, so that's, you know, that's one of the hallmarks of a light cruiser. A good one, anyway. Yeah, lots of gyroscopes. Hang on. Let's see. Oh, look at all these. And all Gatling turrets. And with all those Gatling turrets, I still had to add Turrets, uh, point defense turrets in the front. So we've got uh, six hydrogen engines and uh, 11 hydrogen tanks, lots of hydrogen thrusters. One large and at least two small warfare reactors, so the ship's got plenty of power. Of course, it could have more. I mean, my ship, the ships I set up for the, you know, I, I equipped Terran Republic Navy ships with deuterium fusion reactors another mod available in the workshop and so here in the we got our uh, point defense turrets and so and and we can do we have six missiles We can make six. We can make six missiles, and there's a nuke launcher and high. Well, I say I'd say for sure leaps. Oh yeah, 5302H2 generators. A lot of these are doubling as uh, conveyors as well. Didn't, doesn't seem to have put programmable blocks with scripts for the missiles to, well, you know, for, for launching the missiles and it's, it's a lot easier to do, to launch these kind of missiles and you know reproduce them when you're using scripts so we got and we got four rail guns already mentioned refinery and there's two survival kits in engineering and a bunch of warfare batteries and you know, there's a lot and there are more welders than we saw back there in the we didn't see all the all the all the uh, missile. Yep, a dozen welders. That's plenty of. That's probably probably enough welders for to make uh, was it eight missiles, I think. But anyway, so 
yep. Six. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. A dozen a dozen welders, two two welders per missile. So yeah. Anyway, so and that's what we saw in the one missile uh you know that we could actually get to. So that's pretty that's so that's that's the internals of the ship. I've uh, already mentioned two or three times it is well appointed ship and uh, pretty nice aesthetically as well and very heavily armed so and with that I just want to remind you that if you are enjoying this content would like to see more of it Please remember those uh, buttons down below in the description, the uh, like and the subscribe and no notification bell, and uh, go ahead and uh, you know press those buttons for me, and that way, and leave a comment in the comments about what you think of this ship, and that that way that helps me grow this channel and helps me to be able to continue to bring you combat tests and reviews of ships like this one from the Steam Workshop. And the link to the ship will be in the description. And with that, um, I will be I will be back when I have this ship out on the test range and have it set up with a adversary to test it against. So until then, I hope you all have a great day.